Summer the Feast, so let's get into this tea. Now, y'all know one thing about me being a reactor slash blogger slash I'm, we all just know and we be talking about this together. Um, Danny has been getting accused a lot of being a scammer, right? And it's easy to call somebody a scammer and clearly not have no receipts. And to be honest, I've been looking for the receipts because I keep telling y'all from what she's saying, if she's charging a fee, you got to pay the fee, right? But she is currently offering $150,000. A hundred? Hold on. Give me a second. Give me one second. Let me find her Instagram. Ah. Uh, uh, let me find it. Let me find it. Here it is. I got 50K. She changed it, by the way. But I got 50K for anyone who can drop proof under this post of me scamming y'all. I'm not talking about you being charged a prep fee. I'm talking about me stealing your tax refund, as y'all say. We're not talking about y'all not reading the policy. <laughs> We're not talking about when a client disrespect me and I respond. <laughs> and I respond. We're talking about really scamming. Drop it under this post because I got time. This is your chance to get 50K bank wire stamped at. Let me tell you something. Send it to me. If she scammed y'all and you want 50K, send it to me. I'm going to get it to her. But I ain't going to lie. I like this wager, okay? Maybe if I find a person, she'll slide me 10000 Yeah, I need a cash out too, Danny. Yeah. I need a cash out too. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, it's 50K on the line. Now, she said almost an hour later, no proof. It just kills me. Uh, it kills y'all to see successful people. We got to do better as black community because I really be out here doing all I can to help the next person. All right, so I'm just saying if y'all know anybody, if, 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 if it was you, slide in my damn at Royalty's World. I need the proof. I don't need no goddamn prep fee either, okay? People, people have to charge a fee. I mean, she ain't scammed me, but she did send me $500. Sound like that wasn't a scam to me. People do charge a fee. I haven't even, I haven't brought out my t-shirt line because I told y'all that the shirt's going to be $60. The shirt cost me $30 to make. Really $40 to make. And I got to ship the shirt to you. And y'all like, oh, hell no. I'd rather just go get it from Amazon for $7. You're going to get $7 quality, hun. Seven, Okay. I mean, my shirts are oversized. You could wash them 700 times. They don't have no motherfucking issues, all right? If you, in real life, wear a two extra large with the shirts I got, you could wear an extra large, no problem. Literally. That's good quality. But y'all was complaining about the price. I just said, you know, I got to find my custom. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, it's just an example. Yeah, Sherelle Facebook have all the proof. Send me her link right now. Send me her link right now. Because I'm going to take this to Danny. I, I need 10K out the deal. All right? If, if it is some proof, I need 10K out the deal. Let me see the proof. So, anyway, you know, a lot of people were saying that uh, a tax, her tax, she got three tax companies or three tax businesses that were burned down in Memphis, right? And a lot of people saying she the one who burned down her own tax company. Her own buildings, rather. Well, I was doing a little digging. And uh, that don't seem to be true, y'all. Now, one thing about being on the blogger side of things, sometimes you got to look a little deeper, okay? Memphis men plead guilty to a string of arsons at tax service businesses. I cannot make this up. Why are y'all just out here burning up people? Uh, buildings? Anyway, these men have pled guilty to this, so let's get into it. Uh, Memphis, Tennessee, Dan, T Dan, Tony, Dan, Tony, whatever, Mr. Colbert and uh, Mr. Matthews. All right. 
That's how they say it in Memphis. Mad fruits. 35 and 33 pled guilty to charges of conspiracy to commit arson and arson of three separate tax service businesses. The arson crimes occurred in Memphis in February 2023. United States Attorney Kevin G. Ritz announced the guilt, the guilty pleas today. According to the information presented in court on February 6th and 7th, 2023, Colbert and Matthews, Matthews, conspired to set fire to three different buildings that were uh, uh, occupied by Washington tax services in Memphis area. Okay. Both defendants face a mandatory minimum sentence of five years in prison and maximum of up to 20 years in federal prison, plus up to $250,000 fine and up to three years of supervised release. There is no parole in the federal system. I want y'all to know that these two young men, Mr. Colbert and Mr. Matthews, are already in jail. They already in jail. It's no way she burned down her buildings and these two niggas is in jail, okay? I just want to put that out there. Y'all know I'm fair. So if we find some shit that's fair, I'm going to talk about it. Okay, we're going to get into this Sherelle Hodge shit in a minute too. All right? Um... Uh, this case was investigated by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives and the Memphis Fire Department. United States Attorney Ritz stated, arson is, dangerous is a dangerous crime that threatens the safety of the community and in particular, the safety of first responders in our city. Individuals who commit arson of businesses in West Tennessee will continue to get the full attention of the law enforcement. All right. The criminal act of arson poses an unnecessary risk to citizens and first responders of city Memphis, as well as having a negative impact on the financial systems of the community, said ATF Nashville special agent in charge, Marcus Watson. My point is, y'all, um, this was in Memphis. It just so happened that last year she was dealing with that situation with this arson. Um, and here we are. So... Esco Shea, you said that she paid them, right? If she paid them, why they ain't snitch on her? Ain't no way I'm going down to you paid me. I'm a snitch. Ain't no way I'm doing fair time. Come on, Jesse. Ain't no way I'm doing fair time without snitching. Oh, I'm snitching. Oh, hell yeah. You the one who told me to burn down this shit, bitch. This wasn't worth two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and I gotta go do fat time. I'm not sitting in jail for that. And arson is way too serious in the world to even play like that. And not only that, they had to do time, gotta pay two hundred fifty thousand, and all this. Nah, I don't believe she paid him. I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt on this one. I just. It's, it keeps getting spewed out like it ain't nothing. So, you know, I wanted to talk about it. Now, let's talk about this right here. Sherelle. Here is a client of hers simply trying to access paperwork from this legitimate businesswoman. Okay. Hello, love. This is Danny. I was just letting you know that your tax quote will be ready on tomorrow. And thanks for your patience. She said, thank you. All right. Your take home amount is $4,012.15. If you receive an advanced loan, please deduct the loan from the amount above. Also, I will provide this information you need to check your status. Once the IRS officially opens, thank you for your support. Please text back. I agree to give me the right to submit your return in for the loan. You are also agreeing that you do not have any more Income to report, I guess. All right. Okay, boom. That's that. <clears throat> Good morning again. I'm requesting my return paperwork again. The amount you gave me didn't work on WMR because it's an invalid amount. My refund is 6502, not 40, not the 4012. You said you also never told me 
my state amount. I never signed my 8879 form either. Child, first of all, she should just do her own taxes if that's okay. I should have give you any I should have give you anything since you want to like a comment. <laughs> what? Motherfuckers really been sick as fuck. Hello, here's your information to use to check IRS to go. According to According to fees, there are seven fees deducted. The extra money is not your money anyways. It's my credits. Please do your own quote on turbo taxes before you speak about a fee. If you are getting more than you deserve, then you shouldn't ask about a fee. Thanks. Okay. My request was a copy of my return that you are required to give by law. Well, you require by law to give me uh, before you even file because I definitely didn't sign an 8879. Not the information I already have via my transcripts. I actually could have got myself $49 more than the 4012 you quoted. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Why she just didn't do her own taxes? <laughs> um, have via transcripts actually could have got myself $49 uh, quoted without the fraudulent energy credits you added on my return without my knowledge or consent. I also request the information on my GA state return that you filed. And as of today, you still have not, but neither are needed now because I have already filed whatever she filed form under your PTN, PTIN, filed a paper return and had my account flagged. So no worries. I'm not reading this long as essay. <laughs> okay. Because I'll make it a way you won't get your sh You won't even get your shit. Damn! It's to get more than you deserve. That scream scam to me. <laughs> uh, I'm not ready for long. SA, please do. Say less, girl. I don't care if you file a whatever form the IRS is on my payroll, motherfucker. Now, Danny, come on now. Uh, girl, I don't care if you, uh, whatever they get, they get paid a good 30 K a year. Why you think I never had a visit girl. Okay. I'm just letting y'all dumb asses know. They definitely chuckled at that part. Yep. And nine times out of 10, when they get to the head person, they'll look, they'll look past it, boo. They can't do nothing. <laughs> they can't do nothing with them or whatever she said. Okay. That's it. All right. So. I'm going to say this and let me, let me go back to what she said. Cause wordplay is a motherfucker. She said, I'm not talking about me in charge the prep fee. I'm not talking about me stealing your tax return. As y'all say, we're not talking about y'all reading the policy. We're not talking about, uh, when a client disrespect me and I respond, we're talking about really scamming. So to be honest, uh, I think she made it very clear that she didn't argue with a bitch and clearly didn't give her what she was supposed to give her. Is that right? Hell no. I will say this though, for that lady to know all the information, she should have just did her own taxes. <laughs> I would have just did my own taxes. <laughs> but, um, so once again, what's shawty name? What is shawty name? Uh, hold on. Sherelle is clearly not a good example because she ain't going to give Sherelle shit and she ain't going to give the lady that she argued with nothing. I want y'all to come to me if she done scammed you. And clearly I'm not Sherelle or this person. I, if any of y'all have been scammed, please tell me. Please tell me. What I wanted to prove though was this, uh, them burning down her two buildings. That's all I wanted to prove. The rest of it, her arguing with some lady about the taxes and all that is absolutely petty. And she definitely shouldn't have did that. I wouldn't have, ain't no way I'm arguing with a bitch and I'm doing a service for her, especially taxes. I would have just let her ass go and do her own thing, to be honest with you. Um, I don't see disrespect either, but I don't know if they spoke on the phone or whatever. But as far as her burning down them buildings, I don't think she did that. But uh, yeah, if if y'all if y'all have gotten scammed, please DM me. That's my whole point of making this video. DM me if you have been scammed, and we'll go from there, huh? We'll go from there. Okay, hold on. He has sent something else. Say, I know Danny made a post. She done took it from 100K down to 50K for anybody that can post where she done scam. She not talking about no prep fees, da-da-da, right? So why the fuck Lala go over there and post the proof 
in that girl comment section. And then she turned around and blocked her that fast. I'm, Who is Lala? I'm telling you, she's sitting there watching everything that come through. Block that girl with the quickness. And then gonna have the nerve to go back up to her page. And talk wait, wait, wait. Story time, LOL. Chastine Washington, why you block me after saying whoever can post facts about you scamming them and why you block me so fast after I showed everything? <laughs> I want my money, girl. It could have been lies, but you blocking me so fast just said everything was true. Okay. Um, she gonna scam your ass next. LOL. I never speak on anything. I don't know. I like to know the background before I just go run in my mouth, but it's a lot more. I was just saying how fast she was going to block me if I showed facts about the real T. So did she show facts about the real T or no? She's talking about now they talking about I'm blocking them. Girl, so how was she able to comment the proof? And now your mom, she can't even see your page no more. Come on, girl. You ain't even living like that. And how many times I done posted proof? Proof is all over Facebook that you taking these people shit. There's so many people talking about you that took these people shit. And oh, so it wasn't just one time. Ain't nobody got their money. Come on, bro. Ain't nobody in the comment section saying that you done took money from them. After all of these people across Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all these people to mention, like, yeah, we know that girl. She been taking money. That's why she lost her offices. ABC, X, Y, all these allegations running around here of people saying that you done took their shit and then probably tried to post proof. But all of a sudden, there's nobody. There's nobody. Nobody at all. So what is it that we beefing for then? Besides the fact that you call CPS on my kids. What are we beefing for then? Because that would be the sole reason that you'll be even on my platform. Huh? Y'all don't be believing everything daddy be posting on here, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, that motherfucker there talk so much that she be forgetting half the shit that she be saying. Mm. But anyways, that girl posted proof. You owe her 50 bands. I digress because I don't want your money. I just want your head. <laughs> oh, and Danny, you don't have to tell them to make your shit go viral. Them people don't give a fuck about you. They was literally over there only trolling because... Uh, oh boy, Bernie Mac Jr. was over there paying you money, so they're trying to figure out what the fuck Cud is paying for. Because from my recollection and going through the comment section, everybody says that you look like Jigsaw, your voice is annoying, you do too much flashy shit, you're easy lit, you talk too much when motherfuckers already out here accusing you and shit, so you talking so much trying to clarify and clear up some things that you ain't doing nothing but making your shit work. You do not have to tell people who fuck with you genuinely, huh? You do not have to tell people to make your last post go viral. Bro, you're gonna go right back down. Make the last post go viral like y'all make other shit go viral. To where you were, where you were making statuses and was only getting three likes and two comments. Come on, after Corey, you and Corey is done with this little stint and people stop paying y'all some mind, I promise you, you're not getting the attention that you think you're getting. Okay? And then on second note, put your profile <laughs> in professional mode. Maybe you can make a couple dollars. Legitimately. Thank you. Yo. Oh, what the? <clears throat> Hold on. My bad. Um, girl, this is a hot ass mess. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it down in the comment section below. Um, quite frankly, as far as her and this arson with this building, it's clearly an article that's stating that two niggas did it and they already locked up for it. The, this other tax shit, though, if you have been scammed, DM me, please. DM me, please, with all your receipts, please. And let's just go from there, girl, because this, this is going in a whirlwind of shit. Um, that's all I got. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Bye.